do start with a former Missouri City police officer put to death. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle joining us now live from Huntsville, where Robert Frada was executed just a little over an hour ago. Sherman. Yeah, good evening, Rashi. Frada was pronounced dead a little after 7.40 p.m. after giving the lethal injection. He's the first in the state of Texas to receive that for this year. Among some of the witnesses to see this execution was one of his children, one of his sons, and his estranged wife's brother. Now, this is the conclusion of a nearly 30-year case in which the former police officer hired hitmen to kill his wife, Farah, as they went through a divorce and a custody battle over their three children. Now, earlier today, Frada's defense attorneys tried to appeal the execution ruling. They claimed prosecutors were able to persuade a trial witness in their favor by withholding some evidence, but the Supreme Court denied that. Also, a Harris County Civil Court judge, Catherine Mozzie, issued a temporary injunction that prevents the state from using what she says are execution drugs that are expired. Pinto barbitol is used in lethal injections in Texas. That's a common thing. The Department of Criminal Justice appealed that, and the Criminal Court of Appeals overruled that injunction. So family members, they chose not to speak tonight, but Harris County DA Kim Ong did made a, make a statement saying that the death penalty is deserved for the worst in America. Robert Frada had his wife murdered to settle a divorce, something that millions of Americans go through. It was a premeditated crime. It involved two other people, a middleman and a shooter. And the victim, Farah Frada's life, was negotiated down to $1,000 and a car. For this, she was murdered. Make no mistake about it. Today is a day for Farah and her family. This is not about Bob. Bob was a coward in 1994 when he arranged the murder for hire of his estranged wife. He was a coward in 1994 and 28 years plus later he still was a coward Now, when asked about the planned executions or the date of executions for that hired hitman, Howard Guidry, and the middleman, Joseph Priestash, Kim Ogg says that that is yet to be determined. But coming up in the next hour, we're going to hear Andy Kahn give his promise that he says he kept to Fowler's family. Reporting from Huntsville Penitentiary, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.